Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's great to have you here. Today, we're diving into one of the hottest topics in the world of AI, converting 2D images into stunning 3D models. We'll be comparing Trellis, an exciting open source project, with Meshi, one of the top commercial platforms for 3D model generation. Both are incredible tools, but they shine in different ways. Let's break it down. All right, starting with Trellis. This open source gem focuses on generating high quality, structurally solid 3D models from simple 2D images. It's backed by the latest research in AI and the results are impressive. Trellis really excels when it comes to strong geometry and model accuracy. It's a fantastic choice for applications where precision matters, like game assets, simulations, or engineering. And the best part, it's open source, meaning it's free and constantly evolving thanks to contributions from the community. If you're a developer or a researcher who loves tinkering with tech, Trellis might just be your dream tool. Now let's talk about Meshi. As a commercial powerhouse, Meshi delivers not only high quality 3D models, but also a ton of creative flexibility. Meshi stands out with its ability to texturize, stylize, and even animate your models. So let's say you're building a virtual world or working on a movie scene. Meshi lets you go from basic model creation to fully animated textured assets, all in one platform. It's fast, user-friendly, and doesn't require coding or deep technical expertise, which makes it perfect for artists, designers, and anyone looking for a seamless workflow. So what's the catch? Well, Trellis may create stronger, more reliable base models, but it lacks some of the creative bells and whistles that Meshi brings to the table. On the other hand, Meshi's commercial license comes with a price tag, and while it's easy to use, you're tied to a proprietary ecosystem. Trellis being open source gives you complete freedom, though it might require a little more effort to get the most out of it. Okay, let's start the battle of prompts and compare. Our first prompt is image to video, generating 3D model of the yellow robot. As you can see, Trellis did a fantastic job creating very smooth, high quality model. Even if you see it from the back, Meshi's work is just as impressive. But the advantage here is that Meshi gave us several variations to choose from and even let us animate the robot impressive stuff. This round is Meshi's victory for sure. Next round two, like tank with a face, Trellis again, outstanding job. From all sides, the model is clean and well-polished and textured. The eyes are clear and smooth. Now, Meshi. While the whole model looks okay in general, it's not that great. The eye are closed. The model looks like it's poorly produced and clunky. Trellis takes a win in this one for sure. All right, round three, let's do this purple futuristic style UFO mothership. Again, Trellis produced high quality, clean and well-textured model. Now, Meshi. While model seems okay, the texture is poorly made like someone with low budget and poor quality quickly produced something poor. Not impressed. Finally, for round four, let's create human-like model. I put an image of AI generation version of myself and oh boy, this stuff looks cursed. Totally horrible nightmare. How about Meshi? That's completely cursed. And how many fingers do I have? The stuff of nightmares. We can conclude that both failed to generate human-like model and the quality is just not there yet. So both tools are only good for non-human generated objects. What do you think, guys? Who won? In summary, if you're looking for precision and community-driven development, Trellis is a no-brainer. But if you need a polished all-in-one creative suite with texturing, stylization, and animation baked right in, Meshi might be worth the investment. So what do you think? Are you Team Trellis or Team Meshi? Let us know in the comments. And before you go, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on the latest in AI and tech. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.